On the Isle of Wight currently, there are around 7,000 diabetics, and one of the complicating factors for diabetes is the potential of lower limb amputation. Currently in the country, nationally, there is 100 amputations a week taken carried out, and it's our objective to make sure that on the Isle of Wight we keep that to an absolute minimum. We achieved that by developing an assessment uh, programme in the general practice surgeries where one of my team goes out and assesses every patient once a year on the island for the risk factors that would lead to them losing their leg. We have got one of the lowest, lowest amputation rates in the country which is a contrast from 10 years ago when we had one of the highest rates in the country before we started this new model. This service is groundbreaking, it is leading the way nationally and other areas are inquiring as to what we're doing to the extent that I did get a call and was asked to present this project to the Di Regional Diabetes UK group and was given the title The Isle of Wight A Success Story. It just goes to prove that the Isle of Wight can lead the way and this service shows that it is not only saving limbs, it is also saving money and making the quality of life better for the island population.